Prime Minister Mele Zenawi's leadership was not only confined to Ethiopia, but it extended to the whole of the continent through his active participation in the affairs of the African Union. Many staff members of the AU Commission knew him for his intelligent, incisive, and highly articulate contributions in summit discussions on the status and future of the African Union. Few can forget how Mr. Meles intervened at critical moments to provide not just a summary of discussions, but also a way forward. His passion for Africa was not in any doubt, as he made himself available whenever called upon to contribute in various capacities. Through his work for the African Union, Mr. Meles became one of the most recognizable African leaders, welcomed in many international meetings as he presented and defended various African positions to the world on behalf of the African Union. He was indeed a tireless defender of African interests. Upon hearing of his death, the reaction from ordinary people, African and world leaders, was swift and clear. Ethiopia and Africa had lost a great leader. Prime Minister Mele Zanawi oversaw the transformation of his country, which is today one of the top economic performers on the continent, registering growth rates in excess of 10% in recent times. Mr. Meles played an important role in pioneering a new era of hope and growth in Africa, driven as he was by the vision of Ethiopia and African Renaissance. The construction of the 6,000 megawatt Renaissance Dam during his term of office has often been quoted as an example of a project that will have benefits to both the local and continental economies. Prime Minister Mele Zanawi will also be remembered for his strong commitment to Africa's integration. He played a critical role in furthering the new Partnership for Africa's Development, NEPAD. This will allow us to definitively settle the nagging issue of integration, which has bedeviled the activities of NEPAD for so long. Prime Minister Mele Zanawi was in the forefront of Africa's active engagement in the UN climate change negotiations in his role as chair of the meeting of the Committee of African Heads of State and Government on Climate Change. The CASC is a unique and innovative mechanism set by the African Union to allow all African countries to speak with one voice and maximize their impact in pursuit of a fair deal on climate change. Mr. Zenawi was a champion on the environment who believed that Africa needed to embrace low-carbon, resource-efficient green economies in order to achieve sustainable development. He led the African delegation to the Global Conferences on Climate Change at Copenhagen in 2009, Mexico in 2010, and Durban in 2011. In June 2012, he led the African delegation to Brazil for the Rio Plus 20 Conference on Climate Change. Under Mr. Meles's government, Ethiopia contributed to the promotion of peace and security in Africa, both within the framework of the African Union and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD. Ethiopian peacekeepers were deployed to Burundi, to Liberia, and to Abyei as part of AU or United Nations missions. Support was extended to the Somali authorities and AMISOM in their efforts to defeat terrorism and extremism in Somalia and pave the way for lasting peace and reconciliation in that country. Prime Minister Meles tirelessly deployed efforts in support of the AU high-level implementation panel in order to facilitate the completion of the implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement and the negotiations on the post-secession issues between Sudan and South Sudan. Apart from the African Union, the Prime Minister's contribution to peace and security was also recognized by the United Nations. Secretary General Mr. Ban Ki-moon said, Prime Minister Meles Zenawi will be remembered for his exceptional leadership 
and advocacy on African issues within and outside the continent, as well as for overseeing his country's economic growth and development. It also stated its support to Africa's development in international political, economic, trade and financial systems. Mr. Mele Zenawi will be remembered for his exceptional contribution to the advancement of the objectives of the African Union and the promotion of Africa's interests in global fora. In particular, Prime Minister Zenawi represented Africa in a number of G8 and G20 summits. In the past, the G8 used to uh, draft their own uh, communique without our input on African matters. Uh, this was modified in the most re recent uh, G8 uh, Africa outreach program where we were allowed to participate in drafting the communique. With regards to our engagement with the G20 uh, on the basis of the sole consensus and the decisions thereof, uh, our focus has been on mobilizing resources for infrastructure investment in Africa, particularly through the African Development Bank. Prime Minister Mele Zenawi's contribution to Ethiopia and to Africa will be truly missed. <laughs>